Here we have a brand new AGM battery, which stands for absorbed glass mat. Each of these six cells have plates that are surrounded by mats of fiberglass, hence the name, and each individual cell creates two volts. So in total, you get 12 volts. What's nice about AGM batteries is they are stored dry. This is essentially just a brick. It sits in a warehouse for years and doesn't succumb to age, but as soon as you add the sulfuric acid to it, the chemical reaction begins and you have yourself a battery. Strongly recommend wearing gloves and goggles for handling this stuff because it's no joke. Highly corrosive. If you put your hand in a bucket of it, it would probably just turn to liquid if it was left in there long enough. Hold on to this little cover. Underneath are these little foil seals and how this works is your battery has little points on each of the cell uh, fill ports and once we put our battery acid on there, it's going to rupture them. Now, you don't want to rock it around, you don't want to squeeze it like a ketchup bottle, just one good press and let it drain. Just leave it for 15 or so minutes and it should drain, no problem. Now that the acid is finished draining, and that was way faster than 15 minutes by the way, I'd normally put it back in its bag for disposal, but that's not going to work, so I'm going to put it in this plastic one instead. Just be really careful when you pull it out. You don't want to get acid everywhere, for obvious reasons. So what's happening right now is the acid is actually absorbing into those fiberglass mats, and a chemical reaction is occurring. So it's off-gassing quite a bit and that gas is actually flammable and toxic, so don't breathe it in, it's hydrogen sulfide. What is kind of cool though, is you can feel the battery and it's getting warm from that reaction. And if I put my mic a little closer here, you might even hear. So I'm not gonna cap it off right away. First, I'm going to let it sit for about an hour to do all that off-gassing and then put the cap on. Okay, it's been about an hour and it's no longer bubbling, so we're gonna cap it off with the included cap. Now, something with AGMs is once you cap them, you never reopen them. See, they're actually what's called a sealed battery, which is part of what makes them so great. AGMs are just as happy right side up as they are on their, well, I won't put it on the side till the cap's on, but just as happy right side up as they are on their side, which is convenient for motorcycles because motorcycles sometimes end up on their side, so. A traditional flooded lead acid battery can actually spill, which is obviously not very desirable. Just gonna pop that cap on there. It takes a bit of force, but it's not supposed to come off. It's a good idea also to add the date which you activated the battery because, you know, this didn't come activated from the factory. We actually know its inception date, which is November, 2025. What's cool, because now when you check back, you'll know how old the battery is, if it fails prematurely or if it lasts a really long time and you want to replace it with another one of the same, then it's nice to know when it was activated. What's really cool is that by adding the acid to the battery, the chemical reaction created 12.7 volts of electricity. Pretty neat. I haven't even put it on the trickle charge yet, although I do highly recommend trickle charging it before you install it in your bike. So we're gonna do that next, and then we're, uh, we're off to the races.